So I'm John Haidt, and I'm the executive producer for World of Warcraft. And I'm Brian Birmingham. I'm the lead software engineer on WoW Classic. So uh, first off, I'd like to talk to you guys about how fast you've seen people progress in World of Warcraft Classic, and if that pace met or succeeded your expectations. Oh, I think, I think it Go absolutely ahead. exceeded. Um, but you know, we all knew that that people having the benefit of the internet and you know the generation before them uh, had worked out a lot of, of <laughs> mechanics and ways to, to to level up. We knew it was going to be a pretty much faster experience, but I think it still exceeded our expectations. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Like we had a little bit of a bet before Classic came out about like how long it would take to kill Ragnaros the first time. And the, the range was between one and three weeks. And I was the outlier at three weeks, which was completely wrong, right? That was way too long. <laughs> and it was, uh, but we all knew it would be fast. It was, uh, it was something where we were expecting that with the benefit of all of the experience and, and uh, knowledge that people have gained over 15 years, that of course they would do better than they had originally. And, uh, and of course that was true. It was just even more so than we realized. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because uh, Burning Crusade, I remember picking that up at a game store, a physical copy, and getting home. By the time I installed it, there were already websites reporting on people hitting max level. I was like, how? How is that physically possible? I know, it's amazing. <laughs> so, well, actually, one of the things we're, uh, we, we are going to try to look for is uh, trying to make sure that we, at least any of the things that, uh, that were fixed like day one, because sometimes people will find like a quick leveling trick that we didn't notice before ship and we'll, uh, and we'll use that to be the first one to level up. And those are always clever mechanics. And then we usually uh, try to fix them as soon as we see them. And so we do have the benefit of at least uh, detecting the ones that were used originally and, uh, and having the, the fixes for those, since we'll be targeting the, the latest version of the patch, the 243 patch. We should have most of those, but I'm sure our clever players have some new ones planned and uh, we'll be looking for them and uh, be excited to see how quickly they can pull it off this time. From a classic thing is, this time around, you won't have to wait in a store to be able to. Oh, that too. That's, that's, that's so old. Yeah, see how old we're all getting? Like, I would go to a store and bought a game and brought, brought it home. I still have my disc behind me on the wall. You can't see it because it's nighttime, but my Burning Crusade installed it. Still have it. Oh, cool. I wonder I wonder if I was there signing it. Where is it? Was it here in uh, Southern California? That was right before, that was like a year or two before I got into games journalism. So I got into games journalism at cataclysm i think because I, I i didn't i didn't go to your your thing because i was a poor college student i didn't have any gotcha. money you know what i mean it was <laughs> my money was 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 cup of noodles warcraft and that was basically it an internet that's all i could afford i gotcha <laughs> at least you got but, your priorities straight exactly right. yeah exactly <laughs> uh so with wow classic um there's a lot of there's not a lot of unknown mechanics in classic and in burning crusade no like no surprise raid encounters and stuff like that is it difficult trying to is that what what poses a challenge in the, designing that uh, knowing what players are expecting and do you often want to change those so they are surpri surprised i think there, there are times where some players would like for us to change it but i think that's part of what makes it fun right it's it is a very social experience about you know us against this really pretty challenging environment and i think the fact that the mechanics are pretty well known uh, means that it's all about our execution together and you know getting together and doing doing this you know, this thing um, and I think that's part of what's fun for them so uh, you know of course there's going to be folks that say hey I want some new content and guess what we actually have uh, three games now with WoW Classic, uh, Burning Crusade and Shadowlands and, and you get access to all of them. Yeah, exactly. All under the same subscription. It's cool. But honestly, like also in terms of uh, like making the fights interesting, I feel like there's still a lot of interest, even if you do know the mechanics, because a lot of times uh, it's about, like John said, like coordination with your friends or teaching someone who doesn't remember the mechanics or maybe never knew them. Like uh, it, it, we, even though these are known generally to the community, not every player who's playing has experienced them. And so while there's a lot of focus on, oh, the first people to do this as soon as it launched, cleared it in like, you know, uh, 20 minutes, at the same time, that doesn't mean that your guild will clear it in 20 minutes. I know like my guild struggled on Four Horsemen, but you know, we, we doubted and it was really successful. It's one of the most exciting things is even when you know how that fight works, right? And you don't have to do the the discovery and the, the, the uh, exploration of like, how would I even approach this? Even just doing the mechanics and executing them and doing that in a coordinated fashion between all those people is still a challenge. And so I think we'll still see a lot of people enjoying that challenge of uh, learning these fights together and learning how to rely on one another as they go through them in the Burning Crusade. 
Do you guys find it difficult when when road mapping the classic experience with Burning Crusade to to try to want to make these improvements, but then go, oh, wait, if you add that, then it's no longer the classic experience. I feel like you have to toe this this line of like, well, you put all these like, you know, c creature comforts into the game, but if you do it too much, you kind of just follow the retail path. Like yeah, what are some of the challenges when you guys are implementing things and deciding what to leave in and what to leave out? I mean, I think you captured it exactly. Like that it is a challenge to say like, what, what makes it authentically Burning Crusade or authentically classic? Um, and we try to pay attention to like what is iconic about that era. And so like one of the things that is iconic about Burning Crusade is it's the expansion that brought kind of balance to the Horde and the Alliance, where it put uh, uh, Paladins on the Horde, Shamans on the Alliance. And so it was a, a, an expansion about faction balance. And so that's where like we were saying, okay, we know that that's, this is a core like identity for for uh, Burning Crusade, which was absent in Classic. Like if we were if we were talking about Classic, we'd have a different answer where they were specifically designed to be asymmetric. Um, in in that vein, we were willing to make a change for the Paladin Seals so that we would give them the opposite faction seals because we realized there was a significant power differential there. And if the designers at the time had realized that, they would have made the same decision. So that's the kind of thing that we do is we try to make sure that we're always following the authentic thing that kind of defined that era. Um, that said, we also we start from a, a, a state, a, a, a beginning point, like an anchor of don't change it, like don't mess with it. And we have to really convince ourselves that it's really an important change to make. So having that kind of default, like if I don't know what to do, then don't change it really kind of helps guide us. I think for both classic and, and modern WoW, we have a set of pillars, you know, in um, classic is very much about that social experience. It's about well, it's okay that the environment's tough. It's okay that things are a little bit harder or they take a little bit longer because people have, have chosen that because they want that authentic experience. Right. And, and there's a belief amongst the folks in that community that that is what helps make that a strong community. It's that, you know, the world is tough and we need each other just to get through it. And that conveniences will make us less inclined to reach out to each other, right? Um, and they're willing to put in more time on average to, to playing the game. Whereas Modern WoW uh, is, is more about, hey, I, you know, I don't know how much time I'm going to have here. I want a variety of things that I can do. And you know, if I'm going to go in and do the raid, I might want to just experience the raid or the raid story uh, without necessarily feeling like I have to, you know, be able to defeat the mechanics of the heroic raid or even the mythic raid, right? Um, and so Modern WoW, tries to provide a, a, a perhaps a bigger smorgasbord of, of player you know ability and, and interests it's also more i think accommodating to new players especially with the changes that we made in shadowlands new player experience um and so we, we we try to keep those pillars in mind as we as we guide the games and they are very they are two very different communities although we do have overlap between the communities there are people that play in both uh and are very active in both, and some even raid in both, and I'm not sure how they pull that off, but... They... I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny, because, like, when people ask me, they go, do you play Classic? And they say no, and they go, oh, why not? And I'm like, I don't need to play it. I lived it. <laughs> <laughs> I was there 16 years ago. <laughs> don't you want to come back? And I was looking for men for hours in Iron Forge. <laughs> you could never find a tank. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a challenge. I know what you mean. It's, but it's, like it's you great need to, that you have need that tank. experience. So you know that problem exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so speaking of that, like, can you guys talk about, are you guys doing any class balancing, whether it's for PvP or PvE? Because you guys have so much data, obviously, from the past original launch and, you know, obviously the evolution of the game. Like, are you doing any class balancing? from Burning Crusade that's different from the original classic experience. Well, I did already talk about the Paladin Seals and how we were willing to make <laughs> that change. But other than that, we're trying not to. Like the intention is to try to, much like we did with classic, pick what we think is the final state of that expansion. So 243 in this case, much like we chose 112 right. for, uh, for classic. And like use that as like, this is where the balance ended up. This is where at the end of the expansion, the designers of that expansion believed this was the correct balance. And so we're gonna use that as our target and launch with that and keep it throughout the expansion. Um, obviously, if there's something that's really out of whack, you know, we, we don't want to like handcuff ourselves to saying no, never. But in general, like you asked before, we are intending to provide that authentic experience, things as they were, and we want that we want that to feel correct. 
you know, again, it's back to, we don't want to really mess with this stuff. People came to expect it. You know, there's also a lot of stuff out on the internet that can help them. That will tell them, you know, here's, I, I think that we do reserve the right if there's a particular encounter that, you know, just is not at all useful to have a, a particular spec or class, we might make some tweaks so that, you know, everyone is, is viable, you know, for, for a raid or a dungeon but it's going to be very, very minor if we do anything at all. Right. A good example of that, the where we like made that decision was, uh, we talked about this in the deep dive panel that, uh, Muru is going to be, uh, launched without the spell pushback mechanic. We're going to keep that nerf because it was so exclusionary to casters. But at the same time, we are going to have like a pre nerf version that has the higher health pool. So you can try that harder challenge, but without the kind of exclusionary ability that was present. Yeah, I feel like that's that's the you guys are walking a really tightrope, really of balance. <laughs> yeah. what you do because you know I've, like there are the players and the the class community is very loud, so like yeah, if they don't yes, like they something, are. they let you know. But at the same time, it's like well, like do you fix this? Do you leave it? And then if you fix it, you have half people yelling at you, yelling at you, half people thanking you, and vice versa. Sometimes you're you're absolutely right, and honestly, I like, I love it. It's uh it, it's a difficult line to walk for that reason exactly, and uh, at the same time, like that's that's the job we have, right? Is to try our best to do what we believe is right based on all the feedback from the community, realizing that, you know, the community is varied and there's so many different opinions. That's that's one of the reasons why we want to provide these choices is that we know that different people have different opinions, different people preferred different eras. And it's one of the things that kind of helps motivate us to try not to make too many changes is because we want that authentic experience and that authentic choice. If you like the asymmetric gameplay, that's what Classic Era is for. If you really want that balanced playing field and the new, new expansions and new content, then Burning Crusade is here for you. Or if you really want the latest modern conveniences, play Modern WoW. Shadowlands is amazing. And like, come choose your best covenant. Like, we want the, the choice to be available to our players to play World of Warcraft in the way that they want to play.